Hi, I'm Sean, and welcome to another episode of Dinkum. Let's go ahead and begin by stepping outside. Oh, we actually got mail. Milburn. Um, five palm wood planks. Okay, thank you. Fletch. 10,000 dink. Okay, and Franklin. Here's... Oh, that was already there. Okay, collect and delete. Cool. Thank you for the planks, I guess. All right, so it's morning, and we need to go look for that bug. It is in the morning, not the daytime like I thought. I finally, you know, figured that out at the end of the last episode. And, well, we're going to waste no time. We're going to head there and get, you know, try to find the bug. We got our bug book. So hopefully, you know, we can find it pretty quick so we don't have to stay on this for too long. Now, we can find the bug in the pine forests or in tropicals and i think the tropicals would be a little easier to find because well now that we know the exact you know time morning instead of day the right one uh the trees aren't as big and in the way so it should be a little bit easier maybe or maybe i'm wrong maybe it's easier with a lot of trees however we will catch this bug all right here we go some tropical areas another glowing bug I know you can catch glowing fish but the bug seems so much easier to get because the fish go away if you mess up once like the fish don't go away the glowing part goes away which kind of sucks but it is what it is I like how the wishes stay by the way it, it would have sucked if the wish only lasts a day because that's that was a costly uh, thing Definitely wouldn't be paying for it a lot. Still no bug, though. Um, it is morning. I'm pretty sure I, it was morning and I was searching during the day for it. Or maybe I'm wrong. One sec. No, it's in the morning. I had to make sure I wasn't getting mixed up again, but yeah, it was in the morning. It's better to be cautious than to, you know, look all day for it just to find out it's in the day. And I was wrong the whole time, but no, it's in the morning. Unless the wiki's wrong. Which it could be, you never know. I don't really use the uh, fandom wiki too much. It's the wiki I'm going by, because it's the only one I could find for this game. If you know of a different wiki, let me know. The one that pops up every time is the fandom one, but... I know there's some uh, stuff I'm not going to get into going on with it, so... At least according to other games. So far... Oh... Don't want to go over there. So far, no luck on this, though. Still. We're looking for question marks, if you don't know. That's how we'll find it, is we need to look for question marks. Oh, I walked enough distance for that. Nice. Another Quinn. The blue moon. There's a lot of blue moons. And now, you need to understand, this bug is also super rare. Which, in my eyes, I call it stupid rare because it's so rare that you have to spend so much time looking for it. Which can be fun if you're into that kind of thing, but... Eh, I don't know. I'd like to move on, but I want to get all the bugs and stuff. We still have one more season to go, and that's spring. Which is weird because I'm used to these games starting in spring. But this game starts in summer. If you didn't know and you couldn't guess, we're in winter right now. Yeah, that's right. We're in winter. Definitely looks like winter, but this game is based in Australia, and I... Oh, I found one of these all the way over here. That sucks. I need to look for that bug. The bug's more important than a couple 50,000 or whatever that's going to give me. I'll come back for it, though. I'll put that there, so that way we can come back for it. But I need this bug more than anything else. And still not having any luck with it. Wow. All right. Well, I'm going to continue looking around. And I'll see you guys whenever I'm done. Morning ends at 11, so. All right. Well, I did not find one. But I went back and got this. And we're going to sell it real quick. I don't know why. I've said this before. But I don't know why. Every time I start recording, I get itchy. Like, I'm not itchy until I start recording. It's kind of annoying. 
There we go. Okay, cool. I'm trying to sell stuff, man. Cool. Thank you for the recycling bin. Can, can you take this? What an inconvenient time to tell someone something. Machine manual. I already have one of those. I don't need anything else. All right, I need to feed my animals though. Let's go ahead and put this in here. Send. We got some more data disks. The recycling bin will place somewhere after I check the nurse board and some other things. All right, Alpha Jackaroo. Alpha Jackaroo. Hell yeah, I'll do that. I don't. Jackaroos are the um. They're not the ones with the antlers, are they? Oh, that's right next to a teleport pad. Cool. All right, well, let's go sell these bugs I got in my inventory. I forgot to do that. Sell goods. You can have these. Sure, sounds good to me. Hopefully I didn't... Did I just sell a bug, actually, that I needed? I'm not sure. Pedia bugs. Everything I've captured so far has been turned in... Cool. Okay. Let's feed the animals, and I'll meet you at the Jackaroo, so see you guys soon. You know something I don't get? Whenever you're running, you can jump like crazy, right? But when you're running and you're going towards a cliff, for some reason, even if I mash the jump button, my character just does not want to jump, and I have no idea why. It's really annoying. I'll run... It worked there, but, you know, sometimes I'll run towards an edge of a water, try to jump to get some distance, and it just... My character doesn't jump. They just walk right into the water which is no big deal it's just annoying i guess that would make it a big deal wouldn't it but no sometimes little things are annoying but let's go ahead and take care of that jackaroo i got my flaming bat i brought some food we'll only use it if we need it though actually we should get some if they have do they have combat buffs Gotta press that. Um, that has an attack buff. That works. And we'll go ahead and eat the fruit salad, too. Why not? Alright, let's go kick this thing's butt. I wonder what it's gonna look like. So far, the, uh... Oh, my God. Alright, well, let's kick its butt. But I was gonna say, so far, they've looked pretty different. Wow, this thing is, like, way harder to fight. You gotta be very careful. It's still not hard. Combat in this game is not that hard. I jumped at the wrong time. Yeah, do some kicks, please. And I win. All right, Alpha Antlers. Still don't know what you can do with these, so I'm kind of confused, but I'm guessing you can make something later with them. But that was pretty easy. That wasn't too bad at all. All right, let's head back home. This uh, Alpha or Raw Prime Meat's probably really good. Also forgot to place the recycling bin. Let's go home. We can get home faster by going to here. Now, I understood that if you find all these, Franklin's supposed to give you the recipe for them to make, like, a telepad or something. Franklin has not given me that, so I'm gonna make a big guess and assumption that, um, well... I just, done a, um, don't have all of them. There's probably one missing, so... We'll see. Probably one around here somewhere. I thought I've looked pretty hard around, you know, the middle of the map. I haven't seen anything. Maybe I'll look it up, see what I can find about it. 
I haven't really noticed any other towers, and I've walked all the way around the map trying to find stuff, so... Maybe I'm just getting really unlucky with Franklin. It took two months for me to find him. It took until the third month for him to actually show up at my place. When the first time I started this series, he showed up like pretty... I think he was actually the first one to show up. Alright, who wanted this? Um, Theodore. Okay. Lots of moves here. I want to chat. I did that thing for you. Nice. Also, if we catch some bugs, it looks like we'll get a little challenge done, so might as well. There we go. Let's go ahead and sell some stuff. I'll sell that one bug. So goods. You can have this bug. Sounds good to me. Alright, let's go home. So, I'm guessing that was like an evolution, or the bigger versions of these guys? So that's pretty cool. Feather. Let's go ahead and place this. Um... We should put the recycling bin near the town, shouldn't we? And we can recycle stuff, I guess. I want, I'm pretty sure it said something about finding items in there. So, we'll have to take a look. Alright, so we're going to put these in here. The deer antler was a drop, so we'll put that in there. And we'll get the bug book ready for tomorrow. Alright, well, let's go ahead and go to bed. There's nothing else really to do. Hopefully Franklin visits again so I can get another new item. That'd be very nice. Maybe we'll get him in another three months. Hey, the crafter Melvin is here. Nice. All right, let's go talk to Melvin for a minute. Ooh, you got a lava lamp. Oh, that's cool. I'll take it. Not selling the table, and I don't want the kitchen cabinet. I want to chat. Okay. Do you want me to do anything for you today? Cooked blobfish. I don't have a blobfish, so I'm sorry. I could go catch one, I believe, but I'm not really worried about it. want to trade for some red pants from Rain. Lifeguard shorts, huh? Uh, no, I'm good. Hardwood fences. 16 hardwood fences. We can definitely do that. All right, well, it's bug looking. It's time to look for a bug. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm going to search the uh, pine forest this time. I think that'll be, you know, it's at least not looking through the tropics again. Maybe we'll get lucky. I don't know. I feel like they're, it's a lot harder to spot stuff in these. But yeah, these are pine forests, I believe. Yeah, pine forests. The dark green areas. All right, let's look around for it. Again, like I said, it's really hard to look around these areas. Because the thing does not appear behind trees, the name box. You know, like if you look at them, the thing, the trees actually block them. Also, I didn't notice I didn't have my book out. Yeah, I don't see anything right now. I'm going to look around and, well, I'll see you guys whenever I find it or 11 o'clock hits. So, see you soon. Would you look at that? There it is. If it would have disappeared into the dirt, I would have been so mad. And it was a glowing one, too. Oh, man. It almost disappeared. That would have sucked so bad. I've been looking for this thing forever. Well, for seven days. And to be fair, the seven days, like five of them, I was looking in the wrong, you know, wrong time area. So, but at least we got it. That's awesome. I don't care about catching any more of them. 
It's whatever. Let's go ahead and grab this. Ooh, an old key. I'll take it. I don't even need the, uh, I think I've already said this before. I don't even need the, um, metal detector anymore. You just find X's all over the ground. They're everywhere. Well, not everywhere, but sometimes you'll find a zone with a ton of them around. They'll just be all over the place. Like, look, there's two in eyesight right here. Another old key. Nice. Soon we'll be having another dungeon adventure. Which will be fun. Maybe we can find a bunch more treasure. I also want to try using a different set of gems. I'm pretty sure I have enough to do another area. Actually, let's see how many keys we have. Let's go home and check our key stash. And then we'll see if it's worth going or not. I also need to buy more food for my animals. But I don't think they open until 10... Open 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Okay. So we got some time. Actually, let's go donate this bug. I can also put the fish and bug book away because I don't need them anymore. Nice. Put them right there, I guess. All right, here is the 40th bug. Nope, that's it. Awesome. One second, my leg is itching. Alright, so we have 40 bugs and 32 fish. It seems like there's a lot more bugs in this game. Because if we look at it, and we go to Pedia, and we go to fish, we got 32, there's um, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39... 40, 41. So there's 41. Oh, it actually tells you. Yeah, there is more. Okay, 48. So we have eight more bugs and a lot more fish. Wow. And quite a bit of critters. I don't know if you really need critters, though. But, yeah. We'll, we'll try to find them eventually. Maybe. Like I said, we're only going until spring. So. <gasps> Leap Puggle. Oh, my God. Oh my god, it's so cute. I learned that you get wool from this thing. That's why there's shears right there. Um, let's buy animal food. Uh, I'll take it. I won't have to buy that for a while. There goes my money. Keep It's still going. There we go. All right. There's five. Let's go ahead and feed the animals real quick. I don't really care for collecting from them right now. Oh, they ate that fast, didn't they? All right, there we go. Animals all fed. Let's head into here. Let's go to our tools and let's put these books away. We no longer need them. And... I also want to grab the candle hat. Sorry, little bee, but we don't need you at the moment. Um, I'm going to put you right here. And the lava lamp. Well, I guess I could put the lava lamp right here. Cool. My house is a mess, but that's fine. Let's go in here and grab some food. We'll only need, we'll probably only need these, right? <laughs> Definitely nothing else. Probably won't get beat up down there. Oh yeah, and let's see what gems we have. I'm making a trip and I don't even know how many keys that I got. I got 13, we'll take them. Uh, so last time we used rubies, this time, we're going to use emeralds. Hopefully we can get some cool stuff. I got a weapon. I got a pickaxe. I wonder if it's going to be a different area. Maybe I should save this for when we first start the morning. I'm not sure. I think it'll be fine. Get 
Can you not put emeralds in here? One sec. All right, I learned that, well, only rubies matter. So let's just go down. We don't have enough rubies for this. Um, yeah, apparently... Oh, and this is the deep mines, but apparently only ruby shards give you the underground or undergrove. Now, I also learned that there's... Uh, I got spoiled on the tr amount of treasures that are down here. There's not many. There's not many treasures. I mean, there are quite a bit, but I've pretty much found most of them. The only thing I have really left that's interesting to get is the bat glider from the bat statues and a dog collar, which is pretty interesting. I mean, it's, it's so good to have a light down here at all times. Also, apparently if you're down here till late at night, this place gets full of radiation, which is uh, very interesting and something I don't want to find out, you know, about. Also, um... Let's do that. Give me Batwing? No. Now, someone did say that I missed rubies before while walking down here. It's going to happen. I'm not going to notice everything. So, I apologize about that. You know, it happens. Plus, at the time, it was really hard to see. I'm pretty sure this is not a ruby, though. But, I mean, I'll check. Now that's copper. But apparently I have missed rubies. Oh god, there's a lot of glowing crocs. I really don't want to deal with them. I don't know why I'm not looking for treasure rooms. I've been ignoring them on my map. I haven't been looking at my map. I've just been running around. Give me bat wings. No bat wings. Wow. They are a rare drop. That's copper. Hey, look, a treasure room. We're going to have to break into it. Well, actually, no, we don't. It's on the other side. Well, we'll go through this way anyways. Oh, I'm out of stamina. I didn't even notice. I'm not used to the new stamina system still. Yeah, I'm going to have to wait for that red bar to disappear. Otherwise, I'm going to be crouching like this throughout the whole time. It's a little annoying. Um, I do, I do admit that there's a lot of people that don't like the new stamina system. I like it in certain ways, but having to wait for this to recharge for me to start walking normal is not fun. If the bar is any, you know, if the bar has any of it filled up, it should automatically let me start running again. Ooh, an aquamarine shard. Nice. It's kind of annoying that it doesn't, though. But what can you do? What's done is done. Oh, God. I should have went around the other way, shouldn't I? All right. Oh, it's a ruby. Nice. All right, well, let's go deliver this back home. It's a pretty long walk there, but we'll get there eventually, unless this breaks. Hopefully it doesn't. I mean, I have plenty of money, but I've seen some things that cost a ton of money, so we're just going to make sure this gets back safe. Maybe. Definitely have to watch out for the crocs. The bats hit. So if you get hit, this thing gets hit while you're carrying it. So we got to be careful. All right. Is it across? So it's across the water. But we can also just go around like we came. Because we came from this way. Go around here. Out of the water. Slows you down. There's some stuff there I missed, apparently. I don't really care. I got plenty of those gears and stuff. And here we go. There's a ruby. I do want to keep killing the bats, because I do... Even though I have a glider, I like to see the bat glider. 
That'd be pretty cool to see. It's a dead end right here. But we can go around this way. Hopefully we can find another treasure room. I like how the undergrove needs uh, three keys. Or a bunch of keys, not three. It needs a bunch of keys. And this place only needs a couple. Another guitar, another miner's helmet, fertilizer, paint, and that. Okay. Um, I guess I'll take the chest too. I say, I'll say it again. I hate the bats. They're freaking annoying. Come on, hit it. No bat wings. Man. Nice. Alright, let's continue for more treasure rooms eventually, hopefully. And hopefully we get something good. I'd like to get that dog collar because I'd like to get a dog as a pet. That'd be pretty cool. Freaking die. Let's go in here. I'm surprised I haven't ran into any bush devils. They were everywhere last time I was in here. Oh, Ruby Shard. That's sweet. And if I miss any rubies, I'm just going to say it. Oh, well. It's whatever. It's not that important. I mean, rubies are nice, but it's not the end of the world. Pretty nice finding these, though. You get hardwood planks from them. Saves me the time of having to make it. Not getting lucky with the treasure rooms in close proximity to the exit. That sucks. Speaking of bush devil. This weapon doesn't really do much, so I'm just going to run. Pretty sure it does less damage because they're fire already. And they'll hunt you forever. They're still after me. There we go. I was hoping for an extra key. Yeah, gather around bats. Oh my god, there's so many. Just run around them. Got a bat wing. That's all that matters. Run. Cool. I don't really care at the moment. Footmark. Or whatever book thing. I'm running for my life. I know it's the one down there, but I believe that's one I've already been to. go all right let's continue moving on still no luck on treasure rooms wow that's copper there's a treasure room in the in the water oh boy oh boy oh boy i'm gonna have to fight for this one Yeah, you gotta stay away from the radiation. It's kind of annoying how much it lingers. Just die, please. Sucks you don't get anything different from killing them. You think irradiated crocodiles would have their own loot, but apparently not. It's a ruby. So I'll see you guys back at the entrance. All right, that mine level sucked. So we're just going to go up. It don't matter. There was not that many treasure rooms around. Let's go ahead and sell these rubies, see what we get. Eighty-seven thousand. Sure, I'll sell that one. Now, if this one's not worth that much, we are gonna break it and get some shards so we can go back to the undergrove eventually. And I'll go ahead and buy a mine pass from him while he's still open. <laughs> I want the money. I will buy a mine pass though. 
lava. We'll get some more keys and we'll go down there again eventually. But for now, I'm fine with just waiting. All right, let's uh, head back home. Put this in there. Send a chest. Put them in the above world. They vanished. They didn't even appear. They just vanished. They, they're they not allowed to appear, apparently. Wow. That's kind of mean. All right. So we have three aquamarines. Apparently, th these are just for crafting stuff. It's only these that matter. So that's cool. We'll put the keys up. We'll put the wood up. We'll put the paint up. And I'll just leave that stuff with me. And we'll go ahead and get rid of... Now nah, we'll keep the candle hat on. Why not? It never runs out, so... Now, there was something I was going to do. What was it? Hardwood fences. Alright, we need to make some more hardwood... Wait, do we even have hardwood fences already? No, we have gum wood. Okay, so we need to make some more hardwood planks, which is pretty easy to do. Uh, if we have, oh, we do. Okay, we need to make two more planks. Bam, and bam. And then we go over to here, and we make another set. And then who wanted this? Theodore did. Okay, well let's go give Theodore his hardwood planks, fence or hardwood fences. Is he still inside the museum? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh I want to chat. Completed your request. Here you go. Uh, yeah, yeah. Thank you. You know what would be nice is if there is an in-game way of telling if you've caught all bugs and fish for this, you know, season without having to look it up on the wiki. That'd be pretty cool. Anyways, let's go ahead and head home and go to bed. With a flame attached to our head, by the way. This is safe. Alright. A little bit of hunting. Wow, that actually, wow, we went up with just that. I guess we did fight. No, we didn't fight in Alpha. That was yesterday. Wow, okay. Alright, well, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.